Brown is a Canadian politician who is the leader of the Progressive Conservative Party of Ontario and Ontario's leader of the opposition. Now he wants to get the top job in Ontario. Let's talk to him to see what he intends to do for us as our Premier. Join me in welcoming him to the show. Thank you so much for being here, Patrick. Well, great to be here. All right. So why should we, the people of Ontario, give you this incredible opportunity? Because I want to turn Ontario around. You know, I, I love Ontario uh, like you do. Mm -hmm. uh, this is an incredible province. Mm -hmm. um, and we shouldn't settle for uh, where we are today. We, right now in Ontario, we owe more than any province or state in the world. Our credit rating, for the first time in my lifetime, is worse than Quebec. Uh, you know, we lost 350,000 manufacturing jobs. The government's faced five OPP investigations. We are right now seeing in Ontario that was once the most prosperous in Canada struggling. And I want to work day in and day out to turn this around. I want to make Ontario the job creating engine of Canada again so that young people who grew up in this beautiful province can have good paying jobs. They're able to work hard, make ends meet for their family and get ahead. Uh, and frankly, after 14 years of the Liberals being in office, life's getting harder and I intend on reversing that. All right. So that sounds very good to us because all of us are looking for this new uh, impetus, economic impetus that we need. Ontario always was the economic engine of our country and now everybody seems to be struggling. People don't have jobs. They don't have uh, bills to pay. I mean, hydro is a major concern. I know people personally who have sold their houses but they, because they just couldn't pay. So um, the bill. So what will you do for ordinary people like that? Well, there's a lot of families right now who have to choose between paying their hydro bill and putting food on the table. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, has Kathleen Wynne and this Liberal government made a mess of hydro. On their watch, hydro rates have skyrocketed to among the highest in North America. Mm -hmm. That's their hydro legacy. They signed bad contract after bad contract, and I'm going to clean up this mess. There's a number of things we need to do. Yes. One, the salaries at Hydro are out of control. Mm -hmm. You know, Kathleen Wynne has created a millionaire's club. I'm going to rein in those salaries. Mm -hmm. You know, the CEO of Hydro One mm -hmm. gets four and a half million dollars. Mm -hmm. In Quebec, it's 400,000. Why is Kathleen Wynne paying high-priced energy execs ten times what they pay in other provinces? Mm -hmm. It's not right. Yes. Secondly, you know, you look at all the other high-priced salaries. It used to be a sunshine list where you get to, you got to see through transparency these Hydro One salaries. She passed a regulation so that we can't see those salaries anymore. They're hidden, mm -hmm. uh, and that's wrong. I think everything should be transparent. The next thing I say, the Green Energy Act, it's been an absolute disaster. Why? They've signed contracts for energy we do not need, mm -hmm. and I'm going to uh, end the Green Energy Act. It's been about the Liberal Party, not been about what's in the best interest of the people of Ontario. Mm -hmm. You know, the Auditor General said we overpaid for, gr for green energy by $9.2 billion. The 30 companies that got these mega contracts donated $1.3 million to Kathleen Wynne's Liberal Party. This is bad policy, mm -hmm. influenced likely by donations, uh, and it's got so bad that not only do we have too much energy, we give it away. We charge you to give it away. We give it to Michigan, Pennsylvania, New York, Ohio. We give away Ontario Energy at a loss. And it's so bad that these expensive foreign contracts that <coughs> Kathleen Wynne signed, we have, to, we have to buy this. It's 20-year contracts in our own green energy. Things like, things like water power we're wasting. Mm -hmm. Last year we spilled enough water power that we could have powered 500,000 homes. I've got news for Kathleen Wynne. These expensive foreign wind turbine contracts and solar farms you sign contracts for, to your friends, your insiders, your donors, all that energy that we didn't need, because of that, we're wasting our own, our own real green power. That's Ontario water power. Hydroelectric generation, that is green, that is clean, and it's ours. It's free, we have it in Ontario, and you're wasting it. Mm. We could have powered 500,000 homes, let me repeat that. Five, she wasted so much water power, we could have powered 500,000 homes. I'm going to look at all of Kathleen Wynne's bad contracts. I'm going to make sure we stop wasting our own water power. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop giving away power to our, our competitors in the, in the northern U.S. I'm going to make sure we have an energy policy that 
leads to competitive energy rates in the province of Ontario. I, I'm not going to accept hydro rates that people can't afford to pay their bills. I'm not going to accept where businesses right now it, it cost more to do business in the province of Ontario. That sounds very good to us. That's what we're looking for. And um, uh, another thing is that people uh, don't have jobs in Ontario. Homelessness is on, on rise. There are more and more people coming out uh, to food banks because they just can't afford. Right? So what are we going to do to create jobs? Well, well paying stable jobs so people can buy homes. One of the most important mandates of a government is to create jobs. Yes. Good paying jobs. Yes. And obviously the job losses we've seen under Kathleen Wynne's government um, speaks to the fact that after 14 years they just don't get it. Yes. And here's the reality. I want to create an environment where Ontario is the easiest place. If you want to sweat and toil and work hard and, and run a small business, I want to make this the easiest jurisdiction to build your business. I, 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 and I want to create an environment where yes. businesses right now want to hire again, grow again, invest again. And right now they, they don't. And you know, John Manley put it well. He wrote an article in the Financial Post and he said, what Kathleen Wynne doesn't get is that Ontario is not an island on its own in the Pacific Ocean. And that if you have labor reforms that are uh, inconsistent with other states, if you have hydro rates that are too high, if you have red tape that is too high, we're not competitive. On hydro, we're not competitive. On the rush labor reforms, it's another uh, area we're not going to be competitive. And frankly, on, on, the, on the red tape, we have 383,000 regulations. We are the capital of red tape right now in Ontario. Yes. So right now, on, Kathleen Wynne's putting a sign up to the world and say, you know, here in Ontario, we have high cost hydro, we've got expensive hydro, we've got a huge regulatory burden, and we've got a government that wants to make your life more difficult. I want to turn that all around. I want to make Ontario the place that businesses want to be. Okay, so what will you be doing for the businesses? I'm going to dramatically, be, yes, yeah, go I'm going to dramatically cut hydro rates. I'm going to uh, cut our excessive red tape. Mm -hmm. I'm going to make sure that we work collaboratively with businesses on labor reform. We're all in this together. And it can't be premier, the premier's office way or the highway mm -hmm. and just trying to punish and suffocate small businesses. They're going to have a partner in the premier's office. I'm going to make sure that their cost of doing business in Ontario is competitive with the adjacent jurisdictions. All right, so um, let's talk about your relationship with Prime Minister Modi, mm -hmm. your friends, and so how will this relationship translate into economic prosperity for us, the Ontarians? Well, for those who don't know, uh, Narendra Modi is the current Prime Minister of India, and I, I got to know him years ago mm -hmm. um, when he was the Chief Minister of Gujarat. I was one of the Canadian speakers at vibrant Gujarat uh, in Gandhinagar uh, mm -hmm. and uh, at that time not many countries were there and I got to know him and frankly I was inspired by his approach of good infrastructure to get product to marketplace, affordable hydro rates, cutting red tape. And everyone knows the famous story of Tata mm -hmm. where he learned Tata <laughs> to Gujarat it was going to take a year and a half in West Bengal. He said, come to my state, I'll have those approvals yes. done in 72 hours. And he got 50,000 jobs to move from West Bengal to Gujarat. You know, he was business focused and he was able to create jobs and prosperity for his state. And I immediately hit it off with Chief Minister Modi and um, he invited me back a number of times. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've gone to India 17 times, okay. nine, nine times to Gujarat and I can tell you, what I learned from Narendra Modi in my visits, whether it's in Surat or Baroda or Ahmedabad, was you know how you can create an advantage for your state. I want to create an Ontario advantage. So I th there are lessons I've learned from Narendra, and um, when he became the Prime Minister of India, I was one of the Canadians that went over there to yes. uh, congratulate him. I've, uh, I still visit him in, in India, uh, and uh, I think there's an opportunity for Ontario. I'll tell you why. Hmm a billion people in India. This is a huge market. And right now we don't have a presence. Uh, we're not capitalizing on the people-to-people -people relationships. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I want to make sure that our businesses in Ontario have access to this giant market That's in India. Right. Yes. And, and I like to go over there and um, frankly promote Ontario and say Ontario is a destination to invest. Ontario is a destination that you want to trade with and have engagement with. And the fact that I I have a friendship with the Prime Minister of India that dates almost a decade now. Um, you know, I, I, I would suggest as an advantage. Uh, um, you know, I, 
it wouldn't be hard to be heard in India. That's right, and that can only be good because 40% of the Canadians who want to trade internationally want to go to India. So I guess under your leadership, you'll be able to facilitate that and it will be very, very good. I just hope we can get the Prime Minister of India to watch your show. Yes, we can do that. <laughs> We can do that, that's not a problem, we can tweet it to him. And uh, alright, so these are all wonderful things that 